A North County judge has ruled that a woman can move forward with her case against the city of Carlsbad after she claims she was fired because she's a woman. New at 5, Brittany McMahon sits down with 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen and explains why she believes her case is stronger than ever. It's a follow-up to a story we first told you about one year ago. 29-year-old Brittany McMahon wanted to work at this Carlsbad fire station but says she wasn't hired because she is a woman. Brittany McMahon has had a busy year between working as a private paramedic in the Bay Area to making a year's worth of depositions. You would think she'd be mentally drained, but she's not. I stand today more solidified in the fact that I was wrongfully terminated um, than even a year ago. She's talking about her wrongful termination case against the city of Carlsbad, saying she was asked to resign as a probationary firefighter three years ago, even though she passed every exam, every physical test of what was required of her and her fellow male peers. I think the word that I always come to is appalling. It's appalling to me in this day and age, especially with a city like Carlsbad. I shouldn't have to be sitting here doing this. She and her attorney, Matthew Palmer, are seeking upwards of $2 million from the city. The city of Carlsbad does not hold their fire department accountable for any of their actions. We contacted the city to get their side and were given these statements as a response. The city finds the timing of Mr. Palmer's contact with the media at this time to be an inappropriate attempt to sway potential jurors with evidence that will be inadmissible. The city will not try this case through the media. But they will try their case in a North County courtroom when their case will be heard by a jury come this March. I think it's heading in the right direction. In Carlsbad, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News. McMahon's attorney says roughly 30 witnesses will be called to the stand in March when the trial finally gets underway. 10 News will closely follow that case and report any important developments.